Hi everyone, this is Gene. I'm a graphic designer and illustrator for a little over 15 years. And today we're going to be taking a look at a couple of Hollywood Undead style mask ideas. All right, so to me, the most interesting of the, uh, the Hollywood Undead masks, and if you've ever seen them, they each have a couple of different masks for uh, the various videos and such. But one of the most interesting masks, and we're just going to sketch it out on this paper, is uh, the one that's basically... Uh, on one side it's smiling, and on the other side it's it's frowning. So we're just going to sketch a basic uh, face shape that you might be using in a mask. And do a quick line across for the eyes. Now uh, I'm also going to do a quick mouth line here, because one of the important parts of this particular mask is that uh, it's got a borderline down the center, and on the right side of this mask, the mouth, uh, connects uh, the smile to the, uh, the left-handed um, frowning area. So we'll just draw a quick little smiling mouth and the other side is frowning. Makes kind of, uh, I don't know, like a little parallelogram kind of shape. So from there, we've got our mouth roughly. And we'll just do a quick nose line there. If you're going to be wearing this mask, Make sure that you measure your eyes so you know about how far apart they're going to be so that you can see out of the mask. Uh, now in this case, uh, the mask is a little smaller than, than my head, so I'm just doing this for de demonstration purposes. And I know that I want my eyes about this far apart. And as I said, the one side, we're smiling, we're happy, so we have to make sure that the eye is smiling and happy as well. So just go in and draw your basic eye shape. And then draw the eyebrows. Nice happy eyebrow. He's like, hey, look at me. I'm a nice smiling happy eyebrow. We got the cheek line here. You know, when you smile, you'll have a little bit of a cheek line. And the nose is going to be roughly the same for both sides. And then we're going to switch to the other eye. And on the actual mask, the eye droops a little bit here on the, uh, the outside. So we'll just make it a little bit uh, authentic to the actual mask. And then we're going to take this eyebrow and we're just going to aim it down a little bit. So we got the angry frowny face right here on this side, and I'm just going to fill this in so you can, you can see it, but you might actually cut this out. And then I'll finish the uh, smiley face shading over here. So the, Anyway, uh, once you have your basic mask features drawn out, and, uh, I'm just going to shade these eyes in real quick. You're going to want to grab a pair of scissors. And the paper that we're using here is tearaway paper. So I'm just going to tear that out real quick. And then just go in and cut along your mask outline. Obviously, if you wanted to get more involved, you could get a bunch of clay and you can sculpt a pretty cool mask. But uh, I'm just showing you how to do one here real quickly. Just making it out of paper. Okay, so there you go. And get yourself a little bit of ribbon. In this case, we got some, some red ribbon here. And there's tape sticking everything in sight. And again, you're going to want to put this probably around your head so you can get an accurate measurement, uh, an idea of how much ribbon you're actually going to need. Uh, you can alternately just take a length of ribbon and staple it to either side and, and tie it in the back. So for now, we're going to take this a little bit above the cheek line, cheek line so that it, uh, it goes right above your ears. So that'll be just, just below your eyes there. Okay, just going to grab the staple here. And entirely miss the ribbon. <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to pull the staple out and uh, try this again here real quick. You probably don't want to let the kids do this part. All right, there you go. So you get that on the one side, and then... Uh, we're just going to go and staple this on the other side as well. There we go. 
And for this example, I'm just going to cut this out in the center here. And if you've used a long enough piece of ribbon, you can do this. And then you can take this and uh, put this around the back of your head and just tie yourself a little knot. And uh, there you go. You got your own little Hollywood undead mask. All right, so there you have it. There is uh, a couple of mask ideas that you can make quickly and easily at home. See you next time.